And the High Line opened in 2009. For decades before that, it was an overgrown you know, railroad track, sort of left over from an era when elevated trains roared through Manhattan. Today, it's a multi-million dollar park that is welcoming hundreds of thousands of visitors a day. The whole project's designed by Diller and Scafidio Rinpro. From here, you can see just how the High Line is really connecting the dots of the city's best up-and-coming architecture. I mean, we've got in the background here, Jean Nouvel's new condo tower. You've got Frank Gehry office building across the street. Next door to that, you've got Shigeru Bond's new condos. Further down, you've got the Whitney, the new Whitney Museum of American Art is moving to the Meatpacking District. I mean, who would have thought? And uh, just up the High Line here, you've got Neil Denari's first multi-story building in America. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. Along with some really beautiful art installations like Ellen Atsui from Jack Shaman Gallery here on the wall. All of these new contemporary projects probably wouldn't have been placed here had it not been for uh, the High Line and this kind of regeneration of, of the neighborhood. Some of the things I love about the High Line in terms of design is the way that they've seamlessly integrated the design elements with nature and with elements that look like it just kind of happened. Um, almost as if this very beautiful paved surface with finger-like projections into the lawns just landed here amongst the wild grasses, amongst the trees. And it's a great work of landscape architecture. Along 10th Avenue here, some of my, uh, my other favorite places, um, like Printed Matter Bookstore, which is a, a bookstore of, of art books and art editions, which I cherish. And further down, you have the Hotel Americano by Enrique Norton, and uh, a brand new bar in the basement designed by Tobias Rehrberger. And that's where we're going for beer. <laughs> <laughs>